Zips Football with Terry Bowden and host Joe Dunn is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Doubletree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn. Proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant heating and cooling dealers. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden. And it is a happy week at the University of Akron. For the fourth consecutive year, the Zips have kept the wagon wheel right here at Akron with a 24-23 overtime win over arch rival Kent State. And coach, what a game it was. And congratulations on that wagon wheel staying right here in Akron. Fourth straight year. And, and you know, the game has always been like this. This is my seventh uh, wagon wheel game. It, it always comes down to the last play, last series, last play. Right. No matter who, what the score is, no matter what the ranking is, and no matter who's favored, whether it's home or away, it always seems to come down to the last play. And that's what had happened on this when it came down to overtime, the last play. But I was so proud of our guys to go over there uh, to their stadium and bring that yeah. wagon wheel back where it belongs in our in our locker room. There were so many peaks and valleys in that game, Coach. So many momentum swings, and that final play is one they'll be talking about for a long time. Yeah, it really was. You know, you wouldn't think that a game that's played that hard yeah. for 60 minutes plus in overtime uh, was going to be decided by a snap and a hold. Yeah. Just a snap and a hold. We weren't able to change that. But sometimes that's the way it is. It's the little things that determine the close ball games. But there were a lot of swings. I mean, we controlled the first half, most of the first half. We didn't get a big lead, but 10 to 3. And then the last 25 yeah. seconds, they had the three plays, 65, 75 yards, and score on the last play of the half to bring it back and change momentum and then go ahead. We had to really show some fortitude yeah. to come back in the second half and get and establish a tie and move ahead in overtime. Exactly. Zips win at 24-23 in overtime. Right now, let's go back up to Dick Stadium on the Kent State campus. Watch first half highlights brought to you by Suma Health Systems. I'll tell you, Coach, as you said, you dominated that first half, but first, we're only tied at the half. Right. I mean, we, our defense only held them to 140 yards up on those last three plays, but it was a sunny. You see the sh sun and all the shadows. It was a nice game for about 15 minutes. Then the rains came and the winds came. We hold them. Then Cato Nelson comes back, makes a nice throw right there. Jonah Morris makes the catch, uh, but we can't drive. There's a nice job tackling the quarterback in the backfield. You know, that's Jamal Davis. He had two tackles for loss in the game. We come back. Cato Nelson makes a throw to Jonah Morris out of Hoban High School here locally in Akron, Ohio. And then he comes back. Now watch the scramble. So many times during the game, uh, he makes the nice run. He doesn't just slide down and not make yards. Usually he'll try to rip through there and make as much yardage as he can trying to get that first down. They held us that time. We come back there. I mean, there's a nice throw right here. Nice job. Back shoulder throw to Dre Williams. Gets us down inside the 10. Bad snap. Cato just decides to run it and pick up yards. He picks up six to the one. See that snap? He couldn't hand it off, so he just ran the football. Now he gets to the sideline, plants his foot in the ground, and sticks it up there, gets down to the one. He was clearly on the ground when that ball snapped. Keandre White, freshman out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, gets that. Watch that. 230 pounds. That's one of our bigger backs. Young back makes the stab in there, gets the touchdown. At the end of the play, rolls the ball. Got a cover up. Nice play right there, Darian Daly, on the throw as they come back. This is a big old back, Larkin. They had a couple of big backs, and uh, he was able to stop there, but they had, did a great job right there. Nice tackle right there. Kyron Brown coming up from the cornerback position to stop that one. Good job right there stopping the quarterback. Josh Ward, I think, made that play. We hold him to a field goal right there, 7-3. to three. That was a good drive for them. We were able to hold him and finish it off with a strong by holding him to field goal. Van Edwards makes a nice five-yard run around the outside. He fought for everything he could get. You'll see him right here. Cut up inside, make the strong move, get hit to death right there, makes five yards on a play. That's five yards for a running play, gives you a positive situation. Nice Dre Williams, make a nice stab. He had four catches for 70 yards and a touchdown. Nice job. Look at Michael Trailer Bennett. Great throw and great catch right there. This is a critical third down play. 12 yards to go. Man, threw it right between those two, and he caught it, held on as he got hit. So it's a nice catch. We're at midfield right now. 
what a job, what a great job right there. Dre Williams over the shoulder. Watch this pass. Watch it. Watch how close. There's a nice back shoulder throw to Nate Stewart twice. We throw when the, when the, we're not getting past them. We've got to throw it behind them, and we see the ball before they do. Uh, we do that. We call it a back shoulder yeah. throw. They held us to a field goal, and so though that's ten to three right now, and we've got the ball trying to get moved down again to thirty. Nice run there by Van Edwards, making about seven yards. Comes back now. Does a good job here. It is third and five. He rips up the middle for seven. Gives us a first down right there. And so we got that ball moving. We didn't be able to get the ball. But we were able to we move the chains. Nice job by a swarming defense. Then they kick back to us. Had us on the 10-yard line right here. And we're trying to get it out. We're three, and th three minutes and 30 seconds left in the half. Three minutes, under three minutes right now. Here's a Creed little run, Creed run right here. We're trying to make sure we run the clock yeah. out. But they get the ball back. Hear them trying to run the ball. Nice job right there. Nice tackle. Keep them, keep them locked in. But then they're trying to get that last. There's a, there's a little screen. Tackled it very, very well. We're able to stop that. So it's a great job there of stopping that play. But we come back. Instead of just trying to run the clock out, we try to score. And we want to put more points on the board. And when they intercept it, and then this last play of the half, right here, they get a huge 22-yard run. On the last play yeah. from scrimmage, if he doesn't get in, the clock's going to run out. Exactly. And so that was a big turning point right now because that put momentum in their locker room. Exactly. But the Zips came back and won it. Absolutely. Didn't hurt us, but Absolutely. it was a big momentum. You have shift. to get the swing back, and you'll see in the second half we they carried another touchdown. We'll see exactly. that in the second half. But our guys did not give up. They kept fighting, and it'll be a, an exciting second it half. It sure will. Hey, we're tied at 10-10. When we come back, we have a special feature. We have two sets of brothers on this year's University of Akron football team. All four from Akron. We're going to meet those young men right after this. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom. On the track. In the boardroom. And in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. SUMA Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Well, it's definitely a family uh, here at the University of Akron. And, Coach, you've done a great job of recruiting locally. But you've got two sets of brothers, the Brimages from East and the yeah. Bischoffs from St. Vincent, St. Mary. Yeah, you know, when one has a good experience, the other one not follows. That's kind of what's yeah. happened here with both of those. The older brother had a good experience. The younger brother sure. followed. And we'll take as many as we can get. These are <laughs> fine fo football players, fine student athletes. We're glad to have them right here at Akron. Okay, right now let's meet the Bischoffs and the Brimages, four sets that are really playing outstanding football. I mean, it's a really cool experience. I know uh, having Brandon come in this year was uh, a lot of fun. It's been a, it's honestly been a great experience overall. We played on the same high school team for a year or two, so kind of used to it at this point. Yeah, it's good because uh, especially him being here for so long, um, I'm able to, to learn um, the defense and, and the ways a lot better. Um, and coming in later after my uh, freshman semester, um, it's been nice to have you know, have someone to, to look up to. We've been playing on the same team since literally high school, and now we're playing together. It's great. Like, we can stay connected, close to each other. It's great being out here, just like back in high school, and our family get to see both of us play at once instead of going to different places. So it's great. You, you know, I would think in the Brimage's case, I think DeAndre did a great job on Deshaun, you know, in terms of uh, convincing him to come. He had a, Deshaun had a ton of options. He had some power five options in the, in the entire MAC. And again, it came down to the family unit there with the mother. They, she was so involved in it and wanted them to play together. And, and they talked about it and they're, they're their own guys. In the Bischoff's case, they're kind of their own guys. You know, they're a little bit farther apart in age. And he was, uh, um, 
a top baseball prospect. He really was. He was a draftable player. So he followed his dream the other way, and it just didn't work out. Then he wanted to come home, so it worked out. We could talk to each other sometimes, like take each other over the phone or make a call to each other if we need something. Yeah, like that. Like when he was in high school, coming to college, I asked him, like, work out here and there, basically getting him ready for what he going to come through and do here. Most of the uh, me coming to him to help him bring him up because uh, he was a little down at the beginning of the year being on scout team, but he got the opportunity to come up and get some snaps in. And he's uh, making the best of his opportunity, so helps him out with that. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have someone to uh, to go back to and talk to when, when things are going uh, bad for you and then also when things are going well for you, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, I said, um, I'd be telling him, like, after practice and stuff, like, I could have smacked you on this play, and he'd be having this little back and forth, so we'd be having our little connections back and forth. It ain't nothing too much, because, you know, he can't really touch me, but <laughs> he said his little words about if I'll come across the middle, he would do something, but I don't really be worried about it. It's nice, you know, and we try to, you know, Coach Bowden tries to prevent a, uh, to, to present a family atmosphere here, and it's all a big family. It's even, it's even nicer when you have blood on your own team. So it's been, a, it's been a pleasure, and the kids have really enjoyed being around and having brothers on the team as well. By the way, the Bischoff's father, Todd Bischoff, was an outstanding football player for the Zips under former coach Jim Dennison. So, Todd, if you're watching, we haven't forgotten about you. We're going to take a break, come back with second half highlights right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honeymead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Air Comfort. Find them at aircomfortohio.com. Okay, welcome back to Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden. If you were up at Dick Stadium on Saturday, you realize what an unbelievable weather day it was, coach. Wind, rain was changing every minute. First half sunny with just wind, one, going yeah. one direction, maybe 50 degrees, but it dropped 10 to 15 degrees yeah, right. in the second half, and the rains came and the wind swirled, and it was still heavy winds, but they went one yeah. way, one direction, one way, one the other, 70 punts over 70 yards. And so it was one of those games where you had to play the wind and have it be a factor in your game plan. We are tied 10-10. Let's go back up to Dick Stadium, watch second half action as the Zips win at 24-23 in overtime. Well, here we are the second half and they had get remember they scored the last play of the first half right. to tie it up and get momentum to their locker room and so it's important that we hope you know we score first that's a nice play right there in the backfield to stop that play but you really want to be the first to score uh, to make sure that you stop that momentum but they have a good they have a good drive defense does a good job right there so wrapping up that quarterback you got to tackle him as he runs the football Make sure you tackle him. Of course, that's uh, Josh Ward making a nice tackle there, but they've moved the ball down. There's a good defensive play there by John Laco at the middle linebacker position. But here's the outside toss. They get they break contain. We didn't keep the contain. There's the throw run. There's the touchdown. And now they've scored 14 straight points. We've got to come back. Now Newman Williams gets flipped, but makes a nice catch. Watch right here to the tight end. Boom. He gets flipped. Jumps up, ready to go the next play. That's Cato. Now he drops back from the 45-yard line on our side of the field. Makes the run. Great job right there. Tackled by Joe. Jonah Morris makes a nice tackle. Knocks two down. And 55 yards later, Cato Nelson goes into the end zone. This is huge. They had, they had just scored twice to go up 17-10. to 10. We needed to have a big play. There he is. There's a, there's a great block right there. And there we go for the nice touchdown run for Cato. Now it's 17 to 17. And with the weather like it is, you've just got to make one more play than the other team right now. Good job. Good pressure again on the quarterback. He's dangerous as he can be. There's Brock Boxing coming back and pursuing the football and making the tackle. We come back. Quadarius Smith makes a nice catch over the middle. 
They get the ball back now. We're wondering it's all just a matter of who's going to get the ball first in a field goal in a position to score a touchdown, 17 to 17. Or maybe nobody does and it goes to overtime. As you know, that's what happens. Sure. But everybody's making plays. Most of the plays being made from this point on during regulation are on the defense. Great job right there on the defense. Gang tackling what you need to do. Now we get the ball backed up. That was one of those 70 yard punts that went over the quarterback's head. I mean, the punt returner's head. What an important third down run that was for Takedo to get the first down. Great job there. And nice job. Boom. Makes the tackle right there on the intercept. We threw the ball deep. There it is coming back. Makes a nice throw. Makes a nice tackle on the sidelines. Cato comes back. A nice throw right there. Big play catch by Jonah Morris. Makes a big catch right there. Gets the ball for a first down right there on the, near the 50-yard line. Trying to make whoever scores right here as we get closer and closer uh, to the end of the game of the second half. Nice tackle right there. Brock Fox and makes a nice tackle right there. Um, to stop the stop the quarterback on the scramble, stop the sweep right there. Another tackle for a loss. We get the ball back. They back us up with those long punts. Critical third down right here because here we get the ball off our goal line because you don't want to give them the ball back. If you don't score, you want to make sure you change field position. Nice throw and catch there to Nate Stewart. He's caught his two passes for the day. That was one of them. Nice throw right there. Good timing, good accuracy, and a nice throw. Cato threw, threw for 215 yards Saturday. Here's their shot to come back and try to score in regulation. We hold them right there. Now we're in overtime. There's the first run for Cato. He picks up a couple in the first play. Then on third and seven, watching the Dre Williams make a stop and go. Sticks it right in there. Touchdown. Watch it. Well, you can't see him right now. Here's the pass. There he is finding a little opening, a little seam right there. Gets the touchdown. And we go up seven. And now they have to match it to be in the game in their, in their half of overtime. They've got to know they match seven. First play, we make a huge play for a big loss right there. You think, well, now we got them in the driver's seat. Got them fired, backed up, backed up, so they have a hard time to watch. There's the back. See the back run down the middle of the field? Linebacker misses him. He takes it right to the end zone for a touchdown in one play. Two plays, they get it right back. But here's the thing. The muff snap, tackle of the kicker, game is over. That's how quickly it can end right there. There's the wagon wheel right there. The players went right down to that end zone. A lot of pride it takes to come down there and get that. Of course, they brought it back on the bus, and it came back to the locker room where it belongs. I thought, Coach, you were so happy. I thought you were going to beat the players down uh, there. Well, I told wheel. the players, <laughs> I told the players, we're going, we're going to sprint so you can get there first to get that wagon wheel. <laughs> and uh, it's awful. It, it, it means a lot. It sure I've does. been in a lot of rivalries, but that means a lot. As you can see right there, the wagon wheel we have on the set here. Exactly. All the highlights today brought to you courtesy of ESPN. We're going to take a break. Come back with our weekly awards for the Zip players right after this. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom. On the track. In the boardroom. And in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. SUMA Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Well, it's always fun each week with the Zips win to have our weekly award winners. And it's always started by Brian Heated and Cooling. Big play of the game. We've talked about it a number of times. We're going to watch it again. How about Cato Nelson on that big 57-yard touchdown run to tie up the football game, well, Coach? Well, for us, this became the play of the game right here because yeah. they were up 17-10. to 10. We need to make something happen. There wasn't a lot of scoring going on. That's That 70-yard that, that run right there was – I mean, 55-yard run was critical uh, because it tied it up right there and got it back to an even game. And there is, again, watch him run. I really, at this point, I'm not sure he knows he's going to be able to score because there's people out there. We just got everybody knocked down. Yeah. Everybody knocked down. Jonah Morris knocked down those last two. 
and uh, he found himself in the end zone. Exactly. Our offensive player of the week, we're going to stay right here with Cato Nelson. And coach, I don't think people realize, unless they're there, how tough it was to throw in that win. He did a great job. Well, he really did. He really did. I mean, I mean, he, most of your long balls, you never knew where they were going to yeah. come down. And he had several balls that were 50 or 20 yards downfield that just, the, the wind takes him to a spot that he's not throwing to, and you miss a pass by a foot, and you wonder, how'd you do that? Well, the wind affected the ball like that. So, you not much you can do about it. You just got to play in it, make an adjustment for it, and uh, try to throw the ball pretty firm and firm and, and a line drive as opposed to that with the arc and uh, softness. There's a big touchdown catch right there uh, with a Fakato on that overtime play. Exactly. Our defensive player of the week out of Canton McKinley High School, defensive end Jamal Davis. Well, Jamal, again, has just done a great job for us. He's really been a factor, always in the backfield right there, making plays, uh, making t tackles for losses. He's got great speed, great twitch. Uh, he plays hard every snap, and uh, he's had a great year for us. Well, he's an all-conference performer. He's doing a great job at defense. He moved him from linebacker. Mm -hmm. Well, I, we just went, felt when he put his hand down, he would really play better yeah. when he put his hand down. And he really has shown ability. They, they, have, they have to just tackle him right there. That's a critical 15-yard penalty. You have to tackle him to keep him from getting to the quarterback. You'll see right here, watch it right there. That's about the way you have to stop him every now and then. He's just grab the back of his shirt as he runs by you, but that's going to be a penalty. Yeah, congratulations to Jamal Davis, our special teams player of the week, all the way from Orange, California. How about kicker Jerry Fitcher? He did a great job. Yeah, he really did. I mean, he, he kicked the ball out of the end zone both directions, whether the wind was at his back or not. They, had, they didn't have to have any, any, extra, any, any kickoff returns, which is what you want to have. And it's just great. It's just, it's just comforting to know that nobody's got a chance to get a breakout on a kickoff return when he's going to put the ball deep in the end zone. It really helps you. There's another one right now. Not all of those were, were wind-aided. Got a strong leg, young yes, man, as we said, out of California. How about our Zips player on the rise? You're going to hear a lot about this guy in the next three or four years. How about Keandre White out of Florida? Yeah, Keandre is from Dillard High School. Coach Otis Mounds went played at Dillard High School. He's our secondary coach. And Keandre is 235 pounds, and he, the, he was a guy that we wanted to have a bigger back in the, in the, in the arsenal. Uh, in the corral, yep. and he's the bigger back, and we just now that's the first touchdown of his college career right here. So he's just getting the playing time. He'll be, we'll see a lot of him yep. in the future. Congratulations to all those young men. The Zips come back home Saturday at noon to take on Central Michigan. We're going to talk about the Chippewas right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Yeah. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Yeah. Dilly dilly. <laughs> Is that? This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the Pit of Misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of Misery! Dilly dilly! Dilly dilly! Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer. Let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Air Comfort. Find them at aircomfortohio.com. Well, I hope you're making plans to be at InfoCision Stadium on Saturday at noon. The Zips are coming back home after that big win over Kent State. They'll take on Central Michigan. That will be a noon kickoff and a lot of big plans to allow fans to come in. How about the first responders? It's hometown Heroes Day and first responders. That's fire, police, military. If you come to the Zip ticket office uh, before the game, we'll get you a free ticket to that game. So, Coach, we're looking forward to a great uh, afternoon of football. Yeah, we can't see how thankful we are to law enforcement and our service organizations that help us in all those areas. We look forward to seeing them there at this home game. We yeah. need a good crowd there, and we'd love to have them come out for this big game with Central Michigan. Yeah, Central Michigan as a team that uh, has only won one game. But, Coach, you look at the teams they played, how tough they played them. Michigan State, Northern Illinois, Ball State, they've been in most of the games. Yeah, they really have. This, this conference, there are no easy games yeah. and schedules. Records don't indicate how good a team is, and that's just the part of the business in this business because non-conference schedules are very tough. The schedule is very competitive within the conference, and this team can beat anybody on yeah. our schedule. So, And they have had a very good record exactly. against us over the years. Yeah, they have beat the Zip seven straight times. Now, Coach, you haven't been around for many of those, but nope. they have a great record against Akron. Well, they're one of the teams. They're one of the more historically strong yeah. teams in our conference over the years. They go all the way back to the beginning of the Mid-American Conference.
and Central Michigan is one of those teams that's been at the top. But this year we've got to go out and play our game. We've had a tough game every week we play. We've got a tough game. We're three and three right now. We're right back in the hunt for some of the goals that we want to achieve, especially bowl eligibility. We're not out of the MAC championship that's race right. yet because it's too early to tell there. And it's a home game where we want to get those fans at home excited about seeing us play. There you go. We're looking forward to seeing everybody at InfoCision Stadium on Saturday at noon. Thanks again to head coach Terry Bowd. My name is Joe Dunn. Always remember, go Zips. Zips football with Terry Bowden and host Joe Dunn is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Doubletree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn. Proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant heating and cooling dealers. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna.